What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy on the kicks and just like that. We back with another one. Alright, y'all. Ah, that hurt. Anyway, y'all, we got my boy King Frostbear with a new video. It's about 20 minutes long. Happy Friday. I hope y'all had a great week. I hope y'all are gonna have a great weekend as well. Tonight I'm getting ready to go check out one of my favorite comedians. Um, not necessarily stand-up, but Michael Blackston. Michael Blackston, he is a funny, funny hilarious guy so I'm really really looking forward to seeing this show tonight uh, it's gonna be a struggle cuz my ankle is killing me y'all I woke up this morning feeling like my ankle was broken and I haven't done anything to cause it to feel this way so I might have to go and get it um, x-rayed or something when I touch the problem area it kind of pops when I rotate it and it's I don't know what's going on with it but it hurts and it got me walking like an old man but anyway we're about to get into this video Y'all ready? I'm ready. I hope I don't jump scare because it might hurt. Let's go. Hello guys, time for scary videos. Today with a creepy side. Man, came from me. He always did me. Spooky business in an abandoned school. Now let's buckle up and stay frosty. Haunted home. The following clips come to us from Muro75 from Germany, mm. who is experiencing some paranormal activity in his apartment and has filmed some of the startling events. Mm -hmm. He writes on the first video, something like this happens almost every night. Am I the only one trying to look through the peephole and they keep moving the camera? I thought that ghost had a beat for a second. I don't see it. I don't see it. Why would a... I'm calling Cap already. <laughs> Why would you look through the peephole with the dang old camera phone instead of your actual eyeball? Some constant and merry loud banging can be heard from Muro's front door. However, once he approaches, nobody and nothing can be seen from the people. Some commenters warned Moro not to open the door. There are many superstitions regarding knocking on the door. Some say a knocking means a family member is trying to reach out to you, but others say it is a predictor of death or bad news incoming. The second video is even more puzzling. He writes as the caption. Here is your proof. Pay attention to the balcony door. Muro is inspecting the window and door oh, area. Lord. A dark figure can be I thought this man was about to die. The, the apparition is I thought he was going to get him, y'all. I thought he was going to get him. Outstretched oh, in front Lord. Of it, and its head looks like it might be covered in a cloak. To oh, surprise, snap. When he turns around, the figure is nowhere to be seen. When he turns back towards the door, it is flung open. It does appear that the spirit that was knocking has managed to enter the house. What are your thoughts? Is this a legitimate haunting? Woo! Are you also looking for some great Black Friday deals? Or are you perhaps thinking about the upcoming Christmas season? How about an amazing wow. Japanese steel knife set? A big shout out to Kamikodo Knives for sponsoring today's video. Oh. Kamikodo is producing durable and razor sharp steel kitchen knives and tap into more than 800 years of traditional technique. Get too old for this mess. From Honju, Japan. Each blade is carefully crafted, perfected and inspected to ensure the highest quality of their sharp single bevel knives. And their steel is directly sourced from Japan. Their knives are safely stored in a beautiful, heavy-duty ashwood box, which not only looks very high quality, but it also makes the knife set a wonderful gift for anyone. They have a vast array of Japanese steel knives, such as this three-piece Kenpeki knife, which comes with the Nakiri vegetable knife, the slicing knife, and this very handy utility knife. I still remember opening the Kamikoto knife box myself for the first time. I mean, who wouldn't love to cut their vegetables with this bad boy, am I right? Each Kamikoto knife goes 
back. rigorous 19 step uh, process that takes several years uh, from start to finish to complete. And the best of it all, Kamikoto is so confident uh, about their knives that each uh, knife comes with a lifetime guarantee. They are currently having a massive holiday sale that, and on top of that sale uh, you can get an additional $50 off any purchase you make with discount code FROSTMARE. Click the link below or go to kamikoto.com slash FROSTMARE and use promo code FROSTMARE to save an extra $50 today. The next clip was uploaded to Reddit by user John Slay, who captured this footage on his ring surveillance camera outside his house at 5 am. He wrote, I think I caught a ghost on my ring. Brighten the video with my iPhone. Keep an eye on the far left of the recording. John states that he has no idea who or what this could have been, and that he was pretty spooked by the sighting. Many commenters have mentioned that the figure in the video appears to be headless and dressed all in white. There's no surveillance footage showing any person entering the area, and John knows this is not a person from his household. When you don't know how to take a break from creating content, you just work through the pain and you just... Continue to make people laugh and smile when you're in pain. Everybody was asleep at the time. So, was this a paranormal incident? It might have been. Maybe everybody was asleep. Tennis. What? Tennis goes. The following short clip was taken during a tennis tournament. The uploader was filming one of the matches when something unexpected appeared on the court. I need Stick more up. milk. Oh, dang, he tried to hit the ghost. On the left of the field, a dark shadow that appears around two or three feet tall. He tried to hit the ghost, watch. Moving smoothly and quickly. Perfectly, knock the, the ghost out. That ghost is asleep. Then, as the tennis ball approaches, the figure disappears. Knocked him out, the perfect. What do you Bow. guys make of this clip? Is this a real He's sending them back to the underworld. Ghost sighting? Was it something else? That ball had to be going 60 miles an hour. Maybe a reflection of some sorts. Or was it just editing? <sighs> the wrist of my foot hurts. I mean, ankle. In this clip, we're taking a look at another paranormal investigation. I know him. I just don't know what he looks like without a mask. From Dark Life. Has he only been posting since correct? AKA Dennis. This time he's visiting a location known as the House of the Witch. This house has clearly been long abandoned. But interestingly, there still seems to be all sorts of furniture and belongings left inside. Dennis starts the investigation by placing cameras in the main living area of the house and leaves to the hallway to watch the cameras from a distance. Doesn't take long until some mysterious events start happening. What's that? And the camera fell. Oh Lord. Some interference is heard, followed by a blood curdling scream. What could possibly have made such a noise? You saw the... You, saw... you see how them chairs yanked apart like that? That was weird. This it was like... does not sound like any normal human scream to me. The furniture is also pushed by an unseen force. And then the camera is launched from its place. What Yo, that camera fell down so perfectly, it didn't spin or nothing, it just went shoot. And could have caused this chaos. Yeah, for real. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. After Dennis approaches the closet, we can see something is causing the hangers in the closet to sway on their own. After seeing this, Dennis rightfully decides it is probably time to leave the witch's house and wraps up the investigation. What do you guys think of this installment in the Dark Life series of investigations? 
as always, please check out his channel if you can. The next clip was uploaded by Quemahoning Paranormal Group, which is located in southwestern Pennsylvania. They claim the entity caught in the video is the Lantern Man, who is known around that area in the United States. There are multiple documented sightings over the last 10 years. The Lantern Man of the Quemahoning Dam is an entity that is said to lurk in and around the reservoir. He is most often encountered as a distant, out of place red light where there should be no logical reason to be one. Those few who have encountered him up close claim him to appear skeletal and muddy with white eyes. The man who filmed the clip was driving home from a fishing trip through a forest road, which was remote and would not logically have had people walking on the side alone at this hour. After driving for a short while, the dashcam footage picks up a creature on the right shoulder of the road. Remember that we saw that one before. That dude looked like he's wearing a bunch of like pots and pans yeah, or something. Looks to be around six feet tall, very pale white skin, dark pants, and is holding what does appear to be a lantern in his right hand. It definitely is odd to have someone or something walking around alone at night in this way. Is this a paranormal capture? Let me know your thoughts. Maybe. The next clip comes from Toronto, Canada and was filmed by a woman named Melissa Smith. Melissa captured this footage from a baby camera after she unfortunately suffered a miscarriage. She also stated that the same night she lost her child, toys turned on and off and music would randomly start playing that night as well. The creepy events escalated from there, says Melissa. She believes the spirit haunting her is the baby she lost. Oh, I, oh snap! Woo, my neck. I remember this one too. Y'all see that face? The crib is completely empty. However, something seems to be moving the baby blanket in unpredictable motions. Wait a minute. But creepiest of all, look behind the crib. I don't remember that being the case. I don't remember that being the case with the last person that told this story. Was that the baby is in there. That's the baby. But King Frostmare says that the baby is not in the crib, but something is moving the blanket. There appears to be a face peering in. I think before, the last person that covered this one, they said that the baby is like being disturbed or having a bad dream because of that spirit or entity. From close to the floor. Many commenters have said that this does not appear to be the spirit of a baby. Heck not, nah, the head too big. But rather, seems to be something demonic, especially due to the sinister looking face peeking into the crib. What are your thoughts? Is this Melissa's child sending her signs from beyond? Or something more darker responsible for this? Resting place. The next clip comes to us from China and is an investigation of an area known as Corpse Island. The channel, Supernatural, features a small group of paranormal investigators that visit lots of haunted and abandoned locations. This derelict building they are visiting in this episode appears to have been a morgue in the past, since it is rumored to still have some coffins inside. The team is checking out one of the doorways when something catches the cameraman's eye. Do y'all see it? It's gone. My light is too bright. Focus, focus. Oh snap! That thing moved with a quick. What appears to be either a woman or a young girl is briefly seen in the doorway. Man, that girl must be on a track team because she was moving. Disappearing behind the wall. Unfortunately, Shoo! this was not their last spirit encounter for the night. Oh, they lied. Oh, 
Yo! Oh, snap. Incredible. Was that the same or different person? That one had Again, red. We can see just the side of what appears to be some sort of figure. But once the light is shined on them, they once again disappear quickly. They make it further into this old building and find a room that seems to be full of coffins, along with various items that appear to belong to shrines for the dead inside. Yeah. Er. Yeah. Did you hear that too? Was this a moaning? How's that possible? It sounds like, more like a hissing. He hears a crashing noise behind them and decides to exit the location as quickly as possible. What do you guys make of this investigation? Do you think the team may have upset some spirits by coming to this location? Skinwalkers. The next clip was uploaded to YouTube by user Angel Martinez. Ah, this hello. video was taken near Albuquerque, New Mexico, just off of Route 66. Angel says he saw the creature in his headlights before pulling out his phone to film. He states, they were skinny, bony, and walking on their back legs. They may have had some sort of dead animal on their heads. And there were at least 20 or more. They made weird noises as they ran from us. It sounded nothing like a cow. Are we gonna see that too? Or other animal. Come and Yo, what the freak? That's right there, huh? Oh yeah, I think we've seen this before. The heck are those? What is that? It's fucking scary. In the middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere? You better get your yeah. wares out of there. And one of them real big. Whoa. <laughs> In the video, we can make out two pair of eyes around the bush, and they appear to notice Angel's vehicle straight away. Weird. Angel believes these were skinwalkers. Or walkers of skin. Some commenters have guessed these also could be Wendigos. What do you think? A strange creature? Or was it just cows after all? Might have been some cows. <laughs> Big old cows. That was black. That guy was so black, couldn't even see him. The following video was uploaded by paranormal investigator Alberto Del Arco. This time, Alberto and his team are visiting a school that has been abandoned since 2015, when there was a fire that resulted in multiple unfortunate deaths. The team starts the investigation by making their way through the quick overgrown grass outside the school. They call out multiple times to see if perhaps there are other people exploring tonight. However, they seem to be completely alone in the abandoned school. Se oyó algo que se cayó, ¿no? Sí, esto se está cayendo, vean. The team makes their way downstairs to this large open room, and that is when they notice movement behind them. ¿Cómo es que era este espacio antes? ¿Qué, qué, 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 qué? Oh, 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 aquí, 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 todo esto, toda la estructura, toda la estructura está moviendo mucho. A ver. What is it? Oh, 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 what? Watch it, don't fall. Uy. See, my ankle would have been done. Oh, if I would have tripped up like that. Oh, my ankle. Oh my God, I gotta go get my ankle X-ray, y'all. This junk is hurting. Me tropecé. Pero, a ver, es como un efecto péndulo, ¿ya vieron? Swinging like a pendulum. What is? Is it the wind? Or is it possible? Something is trying to communicate with Alberto in this building. What's swinging? Cuidado, cuidado. Watch it, watch it. After exploring the building further, the team makes their way outside. But the strange occurrences are not quite finished yet. Moving. Hola. Mira, 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 mira. Prendí otra vez igual hasta el amarillo. Mira. As we can see clearly in the video, nobody was touching the blue door before it started shaking. But yeah. only moments after that, something can be seen on the upper. Yo, that dog got footprints. The floor of the building, right behind Alberto. Han quedado invadidas por todo esto, no invadidas por. 
Allá, güey, se me hizo ver una sombra. A shadow is seen quickly moving from inside Ooh. the window and then disappearing out of sight. It moves so is quick. Is this possibly another attempt to get the team's attention? What do you guys make of this paranormal investigation? Do you believe the spirits of those lost in the fire still linger in the school? It moved perfectly as he was panning his light up there. Now we will be looking into the haunting of Maddie Bark. Maddie is experiencing paranormal activity in her home and is sharing her experiences on her channel. Maddie lives in Maine and it appears from her videos that this haunting has been plaguing her for over a year now. Let's take a look into some of the occurrences around her home. I swear to God I saw it. I saw it and I heard it. It was like a weird screech. I swear to God I saw something. Yo. Did you see that? Oh my god. No way. What the is that? Yo, that looked legit because they just blew smoke or breath one of them and that figure was behind it. So that makes it look legit legit. In her first clip, she spots something outside her window and quickly pulls her phone out to record it. Massive. The figure appears to be mostly draped it like a cone head or alien. in white, walking rather quickly. But the most disturbing part, what many viewers notice, is how tall the entity is. Many Things point it out that it appears to be as tall or even taller than the trees in Maddie's backyard. Maddie quickly turns on the light to Or how small are those trees? about the creature, but unfortunately it is out of sight by then. Could this be the first sighting of the spirit that haunts Maddie's house? Things escalate quickly from there in the second clip. Maggie? Maggie? Oh my god. Maggie? It's outside the door! Oh my god. Loud noises were heard from outside the house, so Maddie and her friend decide to come down oh, while hey, filming. Nah. Don't you go out that door. Don't no, you go. No. Stupid. Yo, we saw this thing look like it walked to the to the right. But it can't. Once again, an apparition in white can be seen outside Maddie's house. The look. figure lingers at the door for a few moments before disappearing. It don't look like Good it goes video down. That Maddie posted. That's crazy. It don't look like it goes down the stairs. It look like it just goes to the right. It was taken from her basement one night, and she believes That's to crazy. have captured poltergeist activity. After the boxes fall, or are pushed by an unseen force, what looks to be a face can be seen from the shelves. What the what? That's weird. Some viewers have said this haunting seems more like a demon than a lost spirit. What do you think? I think it's weird. I think it's more alien than demon or lost spirit. It's just ET Thank trying you to guys so home. much for watching. Wait a minute. Did he just try to get me with some little clippy to clip? With my eyes blink. Oh, heck no. Nah. He got me with that mess last time. You got to stop, King Frost, man, with that mess. <laughs> that just made my, fle my flesh crawl this time. But, yo, good video. Good video scared me, made me hurt myself. Y'all know what time it is, man. You like this reaction? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the original is going to be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy on the Grandman Twitter at Kicks. And I'm going to catch you, beautiful people, in the next one. See ya!